What is good people, Sim Football Critic here and welcome to the channel. We're going to take a look at a play here at Madden NFL 25 Next Gen and this is the PS4 version. Now we're going to take a look at this pass deflection here and we'll look at a couple other things in the video. But we're going to take a close look at that, you know, as we get further down in the video. But now we're just taking a look at how everyone is reacting. And uh, basically I'm trying out some new sliders, man. I'm using a new format. You know, I'm basically adjusting the sliders according to what they say you know as far as the percentages or what have you you know like pass coverage it you know it affects the ability for the cpu to cover passes so i've turned it up to 100 i have that up to 100 i have um reaction time up to 100 i have tackling up to 100 i also have run blocking and pass blocking up to 100 and believe it or not i'm getting great results i'm able to get uh sacks i'm getting pressure you know, I'm getting great interactions um, and, you know, great as far as what the game currently offers. We all know there's improvements that still need to be made, but I'm getting some good interactions in terms of tackles and, you know, guys are not just going straight down or what have you. You know, it's playing fairly well, but it's still a work in progress. All right. So I just want to let you guys know that. So if you see anything here in this footage that you like or dislike or what have you, let me know. You know, it's still a work in progress. I think I'm going to be posting those sliders as well. Um, you know on the uh, the Madden share or what have you so guys can try it out But let's take a look at the nitty-gritty here, man Look at this interaction here between not really an interaction because of course it's still not any real DB and wideout interaction Which we definitely need but look at how he plays this ball You know as you can see Deshaun Jackson is running a streak route and Morris Claiborne is with him there step for step He stays in front of him and this animation triggers and I appreciate this animation because realistically, this is the only, one of the only animations that he probably should be able to pull off in this scenario. Now, the problem is, as you're going to see here, and you may have already seen it, it's still a force field. And I understand, guys. It's a video game. I definitely understand that. But on this generation, I want to see this type of stuff go away. You know, I want to see the game just play. Let everything be free. The ball and the interactions and the physics and everything being based on the player's statue and his position and all of those things and just let it play out freely. You know, this is something that I've definitely talked to the devs about and, you know, there's things that they've talked to me about that I can't share with you guys right now. But I know everyone is pretty much on the same page here as far as, you know, getting those type of things. But, you know, it's just one of those things here that great outcome. You know, but cosmetically, you know, it's a bit of an eyesore when you go back into the, you know, the instant replay and you see that there's that force field. All right. So I just wanted to point that out. Like, again, like I said, great outcome is just that, you know, there's some things that I definitely want to see cleaned up, cleaned up, you know, with the ball tangibility. All right. Let me know what you think. Every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, the Sim Perspective Radio Show, give us a call at 347-202-0388.